Florida and it's Friday the end of another working week but a time for us as Christians to prepare ourselves for Sunday which is going to be a great day, a great event in the uh, Christian calendar, that day when we celebrate Pentecost, the coming of the Holy Spirit. And the verse of scripture I have for you this morning is found in the last chapter of the Gospel of St. Luke, Luke 24. And I want to read to you that 49th verse. And Jesus said, And behold, I am sending you the promise of my Father upon you. But stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. And this Sunday we will celebrate Pentecost together. And the question I have for us this morning as we prepare our hearts for Pentecost is who is the Holy Spirit? Who will be this Holy Spirit that we celebrate on Sunday? Some would argue, you see, that the Holy Spirit is someone that the church has had a tendency to play down. While well, God is trying in being Father, Son and Holy Spirit, yet the church, some would argue, has placed more emphasis on the Father and the Son. Nevertheless, we must never forget that the Holy Spirit is an integral part of the Trinity as Father and Son. So let me make three statements this morning about the Holy Spirit. First of all, the Holy Spirit is God. When we ask the question, who is the Holy Spirit? We must first acknowledge that he is God as the Father and Son are God. We know that he is God because First of all, divine names are given to him, and you find that in Acts chapter 5, verses 3 and 4. We know that divine perfections are attributed to him. He is eternal. He is omnipresent. He is omniscient. He is omnipotent, and so on. We also know that he is God because divine works are performed by him. For example, he's there in creation in Genesis 1 and in regeneration in Genesis 3. And then divine honour is paid to him. Paul in that apostolic uh, benediction makes it clear the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. So who is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is God. We also know that the Holy Spirit is a person. The Holy Spirit is at work in the world and is influencing people. However, he is not merely an influence, as some religions would suggest. He is a person, and Jesus makes this clear to us in John's Gospel, chapter 14 and verse 16. He says, and I will ask the Father and he will give you another counsellor to be with you forever, the spirit of truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither knows him. But you know him for he lives in you and will be in you. Jesus refers to the Holy Spirit as he and as him, making it clear to us that the Holy Spirit is a person. So who is he? He is God and he is a person. And then thirdly, the Holy Spirit is the person whom God promised to Christians way before the day of Pentecost, back some 750 years before Christ. Listen to the words of Joel and afterwards, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. John the Baptist said, I baptize you with water, but one more powerful than I will come 
the thongs of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. And on the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit came, drenched, soaked, baptized those believers in the upper room. And thank God he is still at work in our world today, baptizing in the Holy Spirit. He is God. He is God. He is a person. And he is the promise of the Father to every believer. Let me close with the words of the hymn writer as our prayer this morning. Blow Pentecostal breeze, breathe apostolic blast, stir Pentecostal hearts at ease and sinners slumbering fast. Revive the ancient glow, the fierce prophetic fire, the ancient miracle bestow, the former power inspire. Breathe till the perfume flows or wastes where sin abounds, till Calvary's gospel incense blows the stricken world around.